Hey guys, so today we are doing a starter home build challenge. Now, I started off by wanting to make this a 10,000 simoleon challenge, but when the aesthetics call, you just have to let it happen. So I allowed myself 20,000 simoleons for a budget. So thusly calling it a starter home build challenge. Now, let me be honest with you guys. I think it looks pretty good. I really do like this house. It will be up on the gallery for you if you like it. I think it was a lot of fun to build. I had fun with the layout in specific. It's a lot different from a layout that I would normally do, but I think it looks pretty awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. And heck, we hit over 750 subscribers. That means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for helping me continue to smash my goals. Hopefully soon we'll be hitting 800. If you do, in fact, like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe it really does help anyways i'm sorry i'll stop talking i know you guys just want to see me build no joy only build all right i'll see you guys in the video so i'm assuming that this is going to be a very tiny house i'm going to go ahead and lay out the shape and then i'll get back to you guys <laughs> let's see if we can make this work i'm gonna go ahead and place the doors in the windows really quickly a lot of these windows are not good but they're cheap so we're just gonna have to go with them <laughs> Oh my god, this looks terrible. Oh my god. Oh, it looks so bad. <laughs> and I know I want to put the kitchen up against this wall, so I'm probably gonna have to use these windows. How bad does that look? Okay, that's not too bad. And then let's try to do another one of these right there for the dining area. And maybe right there as well. So we can definitely move this door over if we have to. I really just don't like how this door looks. It's... <laughs> But it's the only one that has a window. Okay. All right, so I think I got the, the windows and the floor laid out. I think overall this house is looking pretty snatched, not gonna lie. It doesn't look the worst. Like, I kind of like the shape of it and everything. It does feel like the door is a little claustrophobic right there, though, so... I don't know. It's because it's it's because it's such a dumb-looking door. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. We can't help it. All right, let's keep finishing the outside here. I'm gonna give it some stairs. Then we'll give it a railing as well. I'm thinking we use the white wood on the outside. I think it looks nice. So we'll go ahead and add that on the outside. All right. And if we have any time for landscaping at the end, or I guess I should say money, we'll go ahead and add the landscaping last, I guess. But for now, I would say it's time for us to go inside and see how bad this actually looks. So my floor plan is as such. Bathroom, bedroom, bedroom. Hopefully we can fit a living room in this space here. And then I would like a kitchen and a dining area here. So let's see if we can make that work. Again, we're super low budgeted, so it's not gonna look nice, but at least the outside looks nice, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it will trick someone into buying this. I probably won't be able to do a full kitchen like I want to, but that's fine. We're gonna use our super budgeted fridge right here. <laughs> Love that for us. And then I'm going to go ahead and place a sink. We'll make it white at least. And then we'll put our oven. Oh boy, where are we going to put the oven? I did not think about this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe the oven would look better over here. That looks... Oh man, I don't... <laughs> this does not spark joy. <laughs> I don't know. I think that will save us a little bit of money if we do that. Okay, okay. So we got the basic kitchen layout. Oh my god, this is so hard. I think I definitely made this house a little bit too big. I was like super inspired and I was like, yeah, we're going to make this look great. It's going to be awesome. These people are going to love living here. <laughs> Yep. Go ahead and use this table because this is what I was planning on using for the dining table. Should I give them? I think they need their foldable chairs here. I don't know if we can afford anything other than that. <laughs> So this will be the dining area. <laughs> and before any of y'all come for me in the comments, I'm adding a waste basket right there. There you go. You guys see it? It's there. Don't come for me. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to keep these colors either. I might swap the colors, but I'll wait to do the color scheme until later. You know what I should probably do before we move on? I should probably add some doors into the house so we can see what's happening here. The more I look at it, the more I think that this whole area right here is a massive waste of space because like what am i gonna put here probably nothing i would probably end up making this into like a hallway or something i'd probably end up doing something like this and then we could put like a computer desk in here can i raise the budget i think hmm <laughs> went into this with a mindset of having a budget but i think i'm gonna go ahead and just make this a starter home because i like it and i don't want it to look bad so i'm gonna try you know i'll, I'll try to keep it low but um i'm gonna try using 20,000 simoleon budget <laughs> i just really like this this house and i i think it's kind of unique and creative and i don't want to i don't want to squander the creativity here <laughs> Cause we could have this cool like little work desk area right here like is that not kind of fun i kind of like that like it's a little study cove and we could even have like a bookshelf in the back corner back here as well 
that's a little too big. I might have to use the, the parenthood bookshelf because I think it looks the best. That's kind of fun. And then I'll give them a super cheap computer. I'll give them a laptop, honestly. I think a laptop's nice. Then, oh, I should probably get a door for the bathroom. And then where are we gonna put the living room though? We have to think about this. If I put the bathroom door here, we can kind of have the living room scooched like up here a little bit more. I'm just gonna say it, I've seen worse, okay? Don't, <laughs> I don't need to be attacked right now. I have seen worse in my time. I think that's kind of fun. I can, I'm gonna give them better dining <laughs> dining chairs as well. They deserve a little bit better since our, our budget's a bit higher now. Still a little run down, but I like it. All right, let's do the bathroom next. It has to be a full bathroom. So I think I'm going to put the sink right here and then we can do a shower right here or I could do it like that. And then we could put a toilet right here. I think that's pretty nice. Don't forget the toilet paper, okay? <laughs> or the mirror. We always need a bathroom mirror. It just really adds a lot. So there, we got our base items in there. Now let's go. I would imagine this to be the, perhaps like a kid's bedroom because this one is slightly bigger, but um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's not like your standard family home. Maybe these are just two roommates. I'm not going to try to make any of them look better than the other one. This could be like a really fun, like rental home situation where you have like two college roommates or something. Um, why am I in toddlers? <laughs> one of them is also three years old. <laughs> let's get the Mod Pod sleepers in here. Okay. And let's give them each a nightstand. And then I do like to add computer desks to the room, but since there's one right outside, we're probably just gonna do dressers and call it good. Although maybe this one can have a standing mirror because they have more space. Look at them, living the high life. Honestly, we could probably fit one in here as well. Let's not be rude. Let's give them each a chance. <laughs> Gosh, if I had more money, I'd probably make a breakfast bar back here. Like by that, I mean going back here and adding this in and then potentially grabbing some cabinets. I'll do something like this. And then you can add cabinets up top like this. Isn't that just kind of like a fun little breakfast bar area? You could put like coffee up here. It's just really fun to add that kind of thing to your builds in my opinion, but woe is us. We are not thriving. We are not rich. So that'd be a fun add on in the future though for that house. Something does need to go there though. So how about we put a fish tank? How much is this? Oh no, that's 500. Mm, maybe not. Maybe we can just scooch in some plants or something i don't know yeah you know what i'm probably just gonna put a plant in there my favorite plant there there she is look at her she's doing great <laughs> all right let's try to figure out what kind of flooring we're gonna have throughout the house i'm imagining this is some kind of suburban so we'll probably just do wood flooring um this is my absolute favorite <laughs> wood flooring in the game i feel like a lot of people feel the same way about it it's just really nice it's got a lot of texture to it which is why i think a lot of people enjoy it let's go ahead and do carpets for the bedrooms i know personally i have a carpeted bedroom i know not everyone does but i do so that whenever i think of bedrooms i think of carpets now let's Let's figure out our wallpaper. I will start with the bathroom since it's the easiest. That's actually really expensive. I might just paint the walls like a stucco. That's pretty good. I, I tend to use this combination of flooring and wall a lot because I think it looks nice. This bedroom, let's give it some personality. Let's say this person really likes blue. Kind of like that. It's like a seafoam green color. That's really fun and it feels really bright and happy in here. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a rug that fits this room and I, I think you guys all know what rug I'm thinking about. Oh my! Imagine that, she's done it again. My favorite rug always comes through. I love that rug so much, it's so good. I love it. <laughs> I think that's a fun lamp. I'm gonna leave that one in there. Let's actually make it nighttime so we can work on our lighting. I honestly think that's pretty good for a bedroom. It doesn't really need much more lighting. Let's give her some plants, but let's make it not look bad. I think that's fun. Uh, I'm probably not gonna put anything on the walls like I normally would. I might add curtains or paintings, but again, this is a starter home, so we're not gonna go too crazy with it. Now this bedroom, let's say this person really likes, hmm, I was hoping there would be a red swatch in here, but it doesn't look like there is. So maybe they're just very monochromatic. They're, you know, they like things to be a little bit darker. <laughs> Ooh, the dark blue is kind of nice. I, I really like that. I'm trying to find a rug that fits that isn't expensive. And honestly, a lot of the rugs are expensive and it's kind of dumb. I mean, like this one fits, but is he a child? I don't know. It looks nice. Like, you know, maybe, maybe they just like outer space. Like it's honestly a cute rug. Oh my God. What if we gave them a lava lamp? Is that a lot of money though? It is. It's expensive. We probably shouldn't. It's upsetting, honestly. We'll just do that lamp. Okay. Now for the hard part, we need to figure out what color to paint the walls in here. So, ooh, ooh, okay, something about this. I really like that. I think we're gonna go with this one. There we go. I love that. That gives me such farmhouse vibes. I'm not sure why, but it just does. Let's go ahead and add a backsplash as well. 
That looks awesome. I love the I love the look of that. These it feels kind of like whenever I see like a minty green and a white together, it looks like an ice cream parlor to me and it just it makes me instantly happy. So, I I'm here for this. You know, it's kind of the vibe. I like it. Having just like a nice little poof right here. We can even add one on this side as well. They should be able to access that. I really like this eco one, so I'm gonna use it even though it's not base game. And then I think I should probably work on the lighting for the rest of the house now. Because these lights are actually really expensive, so we're not gonna use them in every room. I think I'll put that bathroom light in there. Just do a basic floor lamp, that's pretty nice. There we go. So we have a desk lamp in here. Um, I might put another lamp on this table because it does seem a little bit dim over here. I think that helps brighten it up a little bit. And then let's do a kitchen light. This one's really bright. Let's do this one. Maybe I don't need this anymore then. Yeah, I think <laughs> honestly that kind of lights up the entire house, but not like too much, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty subtle. So if I place one and then I place one right below it, it allows me to. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, I would like to imagine that that kind of attaches there and that's kind of fun. I like using the scaffolding or sorry, the uh, spandrels in that way. <laughs> I totally know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get a kitchen rug. I like using this one underneath the sink because I think it looks nice. I remember growing up, my mom always had a rug underneath the sink like this. We could technically afford a bigger trash can now as well. So let's do that. I like this one. This gives me like country vibes. <laughs> so we're gonna use that one. I could probably get something in this corner. I think this corner needs a plant. There we go. That's cute. I like that. Now I think we should go to the outside and perhaps do some landscaping. Oh, I forgot how nice it looks out here, except for the freaking front door. The front door really sucks. I could actually probably afford a better front door now, because I really don't like it. I want it to be that door. Oh, but that door, eh, it conflicts. Why do you do this to me? It's not the best, but it's better. And you know what? That's all I can ask for in The Sims. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do some terrain painting. I'm gonna go ahead and place some trees and stuff. I'll be back in a few minutes. Um, I'm still mid landscaping, but I wanted to point out something that is quite incredible. I have actually done it. I have exactly 2000 simoleons. I have never done that before. Um, but I think if I try to upload this, it will tell me I still have more. And I meant to say 20,000, not 2000. I'm very sorry. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> That's wild. I'm honestly impressed. I feel like I should just be done. <laughs> Even though I want to keep going, I think it's nice to have a perfect number like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does this look okay? Be honest. <laughs> It doesn't really have much of a backyard, really. I wasn't really planning on putting anything back here, but I think I failed this one. It would This house would probably fit better on a lot, maybe this size, so that way it has a little bit more room. I think it looks okay. I was going to add some trees, but yeah, I I think I need to respect the the budget, the, the 20,000. I think that's pretty impressive and I don't want to ruin it, so I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Why am I like this? Okay, so let's do a quick tour of the house. This is the inside of the house. We have the floor plan. We have the bathroom over here. This is a living area space. We have a kitchen and we have a dining space. And then we have this really cool kind of like office space right here where you could, you know, do some studying. There's a bookshelf. We have another bedroom. We have the other bedroom right here. So we have two bedrooms, one bathroom. Give you guys a, a closer look at each of the rooms. I think that this turned out well. I had a lot of fun building it. I know that originally I was trying to keep my budget under 10,000 simoleons. Clearly I failed. It's fine. Sometimes aesthetics work. I'll, I'll do an actual challenge video next. How about that? Um, I promise I'll try, but for now we'll just call this one I built a starter home um, and I think I think that's fun. Um, I really, really do like how this turned out. Um, I think that this would be a fun house to build a story in. Again, if I had to, if I had to pick, I would probably put like two roommates in here or something or uh, people who are going to college together. I think that'd be kind of fun because it's kind of like a, a nice college setup home. Really quickly, I just wanted to turn those walls into brick as well. I think that adds a little bit. I was like, hmm, what is this missing? Oh yes, I see now. All in all, I think this house aesthetically looks pleasing on the outside, obviously. Not the best, not the worst. If you guys would like to check it out, I will be posting this to my gallery, so feel free to download it off of my gallery at Rochella. So if you'd like to see me build things live, you can come find me at twitch.tv slash Rochella. I'll also link uh, my Twitch in the comments down below, so you can just click on the link there. It's a lot of fun. Yesterday, we renovated a lot of Oasis Springs builds, and I had a lot of fun with it. So if you guys are into this kind of thing, come say hi. I'd love to meet you. Other than that, I have nothing else really to say other than thank you for joining me on this treacherous journey. I know we... Look, I 
know we started with a plan and the plan kind of went away so i think i'm going to immediately record a budget challenge after this because i have sinned i had to get it out of me i had to let myself build something aesthetically pleasing we're gonna do the cheapest house we can possibly build next i promise i promise i promise i promise love you guys and i will see you in the next one all right take care Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.